It's almost 7 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since about 4.30. Cloudy today. It's supposed to be like 80. That's what the thing is saying. And uh, I got my... Finally got my shower tent out of the bag. Set it up for the first time. Boy, was that an ordeal. I didn't get it set up until last night, simply because the wind was so bad it was trying to take off like a kite. I mean, literally. It ended up way, way over there. It was very aggravating, to say the least. But I finally got it set up, and I did have the rain fly on it and all that, and then the wind knocked it over, the rain fly went, and it's like, then I was trying to put it on again later, and the wind was catching it and trying to take it like a kite. So I said, screw it. I may put it on. I may not. I took a little bit of my water, because I need a shower. What she got there, dude? She got a squeaky bowl. He's got him another bed dug out there, don't you? Did you got you another bed dug out, dude? <laughs> Anyway, I put this out here. Oh, so if you get the sun, it's got it's one of those solar thing or whatever that you put it there and then the sun hits it and it warms up the water. And then, oh, oh, man, walking on these rocks, it's like I'm lucky that I haven't sprayed an ankle. Hey, crow. What's up? Oh, anyway. <laughs> it's weird seeing crows out in the desert. You usually see them around the areas of trees. At least it's been my... Anyway, I got my <laughs> blue bucket in here. Oh. I was trying to weight it down with rocks, get to flying out, but that's not working. Anyway, you got this up here. This thing is I don't know if that's metal or plastic, but it, it but it's very, very sturdy. Anyway, you hang it on that, and I have no idea what this window's for, I guess for a quick exit. <laughs> I don't know. I guess for ventilation, you know, I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I hear this squeaky ball. So anyway, I think I'm just going to keep the rain fly off of it because I kind of like, you know, if it does rain, I can just come in here and take a shower and not use any water. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take a shower after a while because it's either that or run all the way into, into town and go to Planet Fitness, and I don't have the gas to do that. So... Uh, But I was gonna, oh, oh, excuse me, I was gonna show you. What you got there, dude? What you got there? Huh? What you got? What you got? Oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that squeaky ball. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get it, dude. I'm gonna get it, man. Here. Let me have it, Copper. Let me have it. You wanna get it? Huh? I'm gonna get it. 
It's a little chilly out here. I got my little you saw I got oh, oh man. He's dug all these holes around here and I'm stepping in. Oh anyway, I was gonna show you. This has got a it's got an off and on nozzle there. Then it's got your little hose, which is crimped as it is. Hopefully it'll let some water through there. That's the way it came. All crimped up like that. So hopefully when some water goes through there, it can do a little hose and use it like one of those shower massage things or whatever. And, uh, Uh, whoo! I think I'm gonna go back inside the tent. It's either that or put my hoodie on. It's a little chilly this morning. Been out here for a while. It's like mm. oh, Ooh. oh! I swear I'm gonna take a tumble out here. It's all, you can't really tell, but this is like sloped all the way down. This is the most level spot, and I actually found a fairly level spot where I put the shower tent. It's fairly level there. I mean, it's it's going to be sloped anywhere in here, but I was hoping to get a a nice a nice sunrise, but I don't think we're going to get any colors. It's just all gray clouds. Anyway, I'm gonna go back inside the tent and warm up because I'm I'm getting chilled out here. Whew. I had to come in here and put my hoodie on. I was getting a little chilled out there, but there's just enough of a breeze that it's cooling off a lot. What are you eating? What are you eating? Oh. Whew. It's kind of interesting how you got like extremes here. Even though it only gets down to like, I think it was like last night I got down to like, like 51 or something like that. But, you know, it's funny when I was, <clears throat> was camping in Huntington, 51 would have felt. <laughs> it never did get that warm there. It, I think the, the warmest I th think I saw it get while we were there was like 45 or 46, something like that. And that was just like one day, you know. So, you know, I keep thinking, yeah, I want to go to my property and blah, blah, blah. Oh, man, my hands are freezing. Oh, I think I got my little gloves down here. Found one of them. I had a, I don't have enough places to put stuff. I got stuff just piled down here. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Sorry about that. Oh. I just got these little thin little like seven dollar gloves i got at walmart but uh ah, if i can get them on i should have got extra large i got large and i mean they they fit my hand okay man they're hard to get on Arrgh. high school colors <laughs> uh that's for my haters. Oh. And I would definitely use gloves because I don't want to get my hands sullied. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. I think 
There we go. Data, this is supposed to be touch screen. Right back. Is that right? <laughs> oh. Well, I think tomorrow we're going to go for a hike. I, there's that one place over there where you can kind of see the trails going up the hill. I want to go check that out. You know what I need to get? And I don't know if you can get them at Walmart or maybe you can get them like at, you know, REI or one of these sporting goods stores. But I've seen them like on YouTube videos that people use them. And they're like a water bag. You know, they're just a water bag. It's like they're about this long, about this wide, something like that. And the whole, I don't remember how many liters of water. And then it's got a, a little hose that comes out from it and you can... Or you can squirt it out, whatever. Because um, I think that would be a good thing to have because when we go for long walks, it's... Um, there we go. Ah, itch. When we go for long walks, it's hard for copper, you know, unless we take some water along and then it's, you know, I need to get me a little backpack. I've got a backpack, but it's like huge. I just need like a little backpack that I can put like that bag of water in and, you know, some bottles of water or something and a, and a dish, you know, for copper to drink out of because when we do go for hikes, it's, it's hard for him if it's, but if it's only going to be like 71 tomorrow, it shouldn't be too bad. But it is hard for him because, you know, he he goes through so much water, it's unbelievable. I mean, he drank, he drank well over a gallon yesterday. Because there was one bottle that I started for him, and he drank all of that. And then he drank like three or four of them of these. You know, 16.9 ounce, whatever it is. He goes through a lot of water. And that was pretty much with minimal minimal activity. You know, so we've got to kind of make it last. Man, my eye looks like this one. Ugh, Quasimodo. I haven't had very good sleep, you know, because I haven't had my meds and... It's just, anyway, I'm tired. I think today, I don't know what it's supposed to do. It really is cloudy. I hope, I hope it clears up because I need to, I need to charge up this other solar generator. I put it out there, but there were so many clouds yesterday afternoon that it didn't, it was at two bars. And it was out there for two hours, and when I went out there to get it, it still had two bars. So, I got the gray one charged up, no problem. But I put it out there early in the day. So, so yeah, like what, like I say, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, when the sun, if the sun comes out and heats that water up, you know, enough where it's, I'm not taking a cold shower, then I'm going to go out there and try my shower tin out. You know, just use, you know, basically suds up. Then just use a little bit of water to rinse myself off. I'm not going to, like, stand under it like a... Well, it'd be kind of hard to do that with that handheld thing anyway. But, um... I did have a pump that I, I bought a couple of years ago when I was getting, you know, getting things together to go camping. It was great, you know, it's USB and it pumps it up. I had a little bucket, you know, collapsible bucket and for it and stuff. And, yeah, of course, left that at the house. God. And I put it where I wouldn't forget it. I forgot so much stuff. Either that or I just didn't have room for it. Like my rock rake. I, it just makes me sick, all the stuff that I had to leave there. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to have to, um, when I leave to go to my property, I'm going to have to go to my storage unit and really kind of go through everything and just, you know, be very minimal. 
of what I'm going to need. Of course, my camp stoves, you know, of course, the tent. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to have to really go through stuff, which is going to take some time. I don't... Anyway. Yeah, you, know, you can tell I'm about half here today. I'm just kind of like all over the place but anyway um i've appreciated the comments that people made on my videos some of them cracked me up and uh i like i like the comments from people who actually enjoy the videos you know because, because here's the thing you know people make critical videos that ain't gonna change nothing you're just blowing hot air because that ain't going to change anything. You know, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. You know, I make videos, you know, for your entertainment, but it's also for mine. You know, some of them are really fun for me to make. And, you know, gives me something to do. There's not a whole lot to do out here other than hiking, you know. But I was talking to a guy yesterday. There was a guy that walked by a couple of evenings ago and then he was just out there walking and doing it doing his morning and evening walks anyway he come by i can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before now days kind of all run together but anyway he come walking by and we were talking you know we were talking about he he go, I was told him i said i said i come to this spot and there was that great big berm there and stuff and i didn't want to get high centered so i decided not to go any further and he goes yeah he says i went all the way down there he says it gets a lot worse <laughs> well i noticed that's the direction like the motorcycles and the dune buggies go they come by here and go out there and so i don't expect that the roads are that great i mean the road is not that is pretty pretty bad coming in you know when i went to needles a couple days ago whenever it was and I came back, well, actually going out, too. I'd almost forgotten how rough the road was. I mean, I remembered it was rough, but, I mean, there are some dips that you just basically got to come to a complete... Well, you guys remember the video when, you know, I had the camera going when we were coming in here. Yeah, but it's kind of hard to tell on camera how bad the road really is. You know, but it's... I, I wouldn't want to drive it. I wouldn't drive it in a regular vehicle. You know, you know, if I'm not in a high clearance vehicle, there's an absolutely no way that I would try that road. And that's why you see all those rigs out there, all those rigs that you saw on camera, if you were able to see them, that they're out there. They're all in the area before. The, I mean, the road gets rough, but not as rough as coming back here. But, you know, I could have camped in one of those campsites that was numbered, but I like it back here where I have privacy. I mean, the only people that come here, like I said, there actually was like three groups of people that were going for walks down by here. And this one couple come by and Copper startled him because he's like, Hur, hur. he was like, whoa. Yeah, you did that, dude. He was going, he was going. Hur, hur. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. And they were kind of like looking like, oh, you know, because he was like sounding pretty dang mean. He was like, ah, you know, ah, you know. <laughs> he's looking at me funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. You're weird. Yeah, you're weird. You're weird, dude. But, you know, he's liking being out here, you know. It, it, that's what that's why it just cracks me up when people say I feel sorry for him. No, I'd feel sorry for him if it was still back at the house, cooped up and didn't have any area to run around in that small backyard. You know, he has a lot more freedom out here, and he wanders. I I don't let him wander too far, but he'll wander down there and he, you know wander around. You know. I mean, he he loves it. He absolutely loves it. He likes being out, don't you? You like being out here, don't you, dude? Huh? Do you like being out here?
Do you like camping? Do you, hey. Do you like camping? Don't you? Huh? Do you like camping? Meow. <gasps> what? What? Yeah, he wants he wants to go back out and chase the ball. But I am not going back out there until it warms up just a little bit. <laughs> Trying to get myself centered here again. Oh well. Not that it matters. But it matters to me because I'm, you know, anal that way. But uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am very, very dangerous. Some of you might remember that video. <laughs> J-Rod. <laughs> you know, J-Rod gets there. And now he's got the candle going. He tries to act all tough. Which cracks me up. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Anyway, I'm rambling on, so I think I'm just going to, I just wanted to say hi, touch base, and, you know, like I say, I plan on doing a hike tomorrow and taking you guys with us, because it's going to be about 10 degrees cooler than it is today, so I think it'd be a good day to do the hike, because we really haven't done much, because number one, I don't, I'm trying to conserve water. You know, I did allow a little bit for a shower, not much. But, um, you know, if we, we're hiking on a hot day, he goes, he'll, he'll drink two gallons, you know, and we really can't afford that. So, oh, mm, oh, mm, yourself, oh, mm, yourself, huh? Oh, mm, yourself, huh? What? Hey, what? Go see him. Huh? I know you, I know you want to go. I know you want to go, huh? Yeah, you want to go hike. You want to go walk, huh? Don't you? Huh? Hey, you want to go walk, huh? <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do that tom tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, I thought somebody made somebody made a comment. Said, "What a great companion!" And man, I tell you what, nothing nothing could be truer. He really is. I mean, for just you know, makes it much more interesting than me being here by myself. Number one, plus he's fun to be around. He's a goofy dog, and protection wise. You know, it's like anybody anybody comes around here and he's like, Arr. you know. Well, it was funny when the guy come walking by the other day, of course, Copper's out there and growling, you know. Then he walks up to the guy and he's sniffing. I was like, Copper, leave him alone. And he kept going up to him, sniffing him and stuff. And the guy, the guy reached out to pet him and Copper jumped back, you know. And I said, nah, he, he's all right. He's just skittish. Yeah, you are. And uh, anyway, he kept going up to the guy, and he was, you know, the guy didn't try to pet him again, but Copper was being very, very friendly. You know, he was being a good dog, but he was being a pest, too. I had to tell him to get back. You know, he just wanted to say hi, huh? He just want to say hi, huh? So... Yeah, he's he's a pretty good dog. He's protective, but he's not aggressive, and that's that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a dog who would be protective and not just welcome everybody. Hey, you know, you know, because it's like when you're out camping like this, and if you've got someone with bad intentions, you know, I want a dog that's going to growl at him and bark at him and let him know, uh, 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 you know. But at the same time, he's not aggressive. He's not going to go out and bite anybody. You know, I don't, I've never even seen him snap at anybody. But, 
Not that he wouldn't if it came down to it, but but he just you know a hundred pound dog growling at you, that is a deterrent in itself. So yeah, he's he's good to have you know. Not only for that, but he makes he makes my day, you know, every day. You know, you know, even when we were back at the house, it's like I looked forward every morning to. You know, being with him. You know, he just, he's a joy. He really is. And so, like, all you people that think I'm a bad owner and poor dog, you're... All I can say is, you're not here, and you don't see him 24 hours a day like I do. And secondly, you're idiots. Don't know what the hell you're talking about. You listen to stupid ass, crazy ass people like Jacob and Cynthia. That'd be the last people I'd listen to. Trust me. And I know you people say, I'll oh, just ignore them, blah, 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 which I do for the most part. But at the same time, I got to get in my shots. You know, because it's just idiocy. It is. It's complete idiocy. These people that say stupid things stuff like that it's like it's just stupid there's absolutely no truth to what they're saying you know you guys you guys see him he's having fun you know he's out there he was out there this morning it was still dark i let him outside to go potty and next thing i know i hear squeaky 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 <laughs> he's He's out there squeaking the ball, walking around, squeaking the ball. He just, he's enamored with that. But <clears throat> he just, he loves that ball. He absolutely loves that ball. And I think I'm going to pick up another one there at PetSmart before I, you know, after payday, before I leave. I think I'm going to pick up another one in case he tears this one up. Because he just, he, I, he has other toys, and but all he wants to play with, and he's got that other ball that I bought. But he, uh, he want he all he wants to do is play with that squeaky ball. <laughs> he's out there walking around, going, nyah, 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 nyah. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. He just cracks me up. He's 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 cheap entertainment. Let me tell. Tell you that he was very cheap entertainment. And he's a good dog. He's a real good dog. You know, it's interesting because when I went to the shelter, I went there. There was a bull terrier that they had, and I've told the story before. Bull, there was a bull terrier. That was the dog that I was interested in getting. And copper was like a last resort. You know, I looked at the other dogs. You know, the other families wanted the one chocolate lab that I really liked, Duke. And uh, and I said, well, what about Copper? Because I'd seen him on their website. And they brought him out, and of course, he saw me and ran, run, <laughs> running and jumped behind the guy that had been taking him home, you know, taking care of him. And uh, it was interesting. But then he warmed up to me and stuff, and then the gal's like, because you know, they were having a hard time placing him because he was just so skittish and scared of everything. And... So we, he kind of warmed up to me, and the gal was like, you want to take him home? <laughs> right now? <laughs> no, not right now. But I ended up coming back and getting him. and She just get, gave me 30 days or whatever it was to, to decide whether I wanted to keep him or whatever before I paid for him. And um, I almost took him back because he was just, he was so scared of everything. I didn't know if it was going to work or not. But I had gotten so... And I told Mark, you know, my best friend, I told him, I said, I think I'm going to have to take him back tomorrow. I said, I just I just don't see this working, blah, blah, blah. So the next day, I was going to take him back. But I had gotten so attached to him. I told Mark, I said, no, I can't. I can't take him back. I'm going to... I'm going to keep him, I'm going to work with him, and he's, 
hundred percent changed dog from what he was when I got him. You know, he's yeah, you can see the tent moving, the wind's picking up. Not bad though. Yesterday it was horrid. Yesterday the wind was just like holy crap. Like I said, I was trying to get that shower tent set up and it was blowing it clear down into the bushes down there. It's like finally I just gave up. It's like, well, and then yesterday evening, when the wind finally died down, I was able to get it, you know, get it set up or whatever. But holy crap! I mean, it was like, actually just like a kite. I mean, it was blowing. I would like go pick it up to set it, and it would just blow it right out of my hands and shoot down the hill. So finally, I just got fed up with it. And said, "Fine, I ain't gonna be able to set this up while the wind's fighting me." So. Anyway, oh, I'm about to have tempted to lay down and take a nap, but I wouldn't be able to fall asleep. So, and it's already 7:30. So yeah, I need to. Well, I had some peanut butter and bread with some coffee for breakfast. I got some of those instant grits. I think I'm going to make some of those instant grits. Make me some more coffee because I've only had one mug. I have a two mug minimum. Not every day, but most days. And when I, and by mug, I mean this. <laughs> this is like this is like twenty four ounces of what it is. So, yeah. Ugh. But that sounds good. Have some more coffee. Have have some grits. I might even make some. Um, I got this corned beef hash. I do wish I do wish that I had some eggs to go with it. I really do. And I will probably what what my plan is uh, is stopping in in Flagstaff on the way there. And stopping at the Walmart in Flagstaff and kind of just getting what I need. And I'll probably get some bacon, probably get some eggs. And um, and I need to get me a frying pan. Because <laughs> I don't have any frying pans. I had two brand new cast iron skillets that I had in one of my bags. With my other pots and pans and cookware. And that was one of the bags that was stolen. Well, I did find my batteries, though. My little, I had a glad bag with all the batteries in it. I did find that, at least. It was buried under a ton of other crap in the back seat. Because I was moving stuff out to find some, I was looking for something else, and I, and I came across that. And I'm like, oh, good, I still have them. Because I, I don't have a lot of things that take batteries, but like my headlamps, um... Most of my stuff is USB, but like my like my carbon monoxide detector, it takes batteries. Um, trying to figure out what else, that nah, didn't matter. But I have I have several things that that require batteries, so I didn't want to lose them because I got a really good deal on them through Amazon. Ordered them. What, quite a while ago, probably about a year ago, close to it. So I was glad I found those at least, but I don't have a frying pan because all my all that got stolen. Assholes. So the brand new cast iron skillets, two of them, one, a ten inch and a twelve inch. So I think what I'm going to do is just buy one of those cheap ceramic skillets that walmart you can get for like nine bucks or whatever ten bucks or maybe get a couple of them so i can if I, if there's two different you know like from like cooking the hash in one and cooking eggs in the other one or bacon or whatever get a couple of those and instead of going with the heavy duty cast iron although most of my spatulas are metal but it's just easier to deal with, you know, nice light, because those, those things were heavy. So, 
In one way, it's a blessing they got stolen, but at the same time, I don't have any way to fry anything. I do have, like my, I have one pot. This is the small one out of the out of the group. That's what most of the time when I cook my ramen in and stuff. And then I have. Uh, this was also in another bag or whatever. It, it didn't get stolen. It came with the same set. Oh, man. You know, and it's just a, I've never used it. You can tell it's clean. But, but then I've got, where is it? What to do with it? Oh, I left it out there on the table. It's one of those clamp things that you clamp on. I had two of them. I don't know where the other one is. It's probably in a bag that got stolen because I haven't seen it. But... <coughs> <coughs> I have another one. It's just silver. You just clamp it on. You can lift the pot that way. And... Oh, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> anyway, that's that's what I have to cook in. So a lot of my other, like my esbit stuff, it got stolen. So much money that I spent for nothing. You know, it just makes me sick. But it's gone. Can't do anything about it now. So I just get a couple of, maybe one more pot. You know, with a lid. And a small one. <coughs> small. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Man. Dust. Small cheap one. A couple of skillets. Cheap skillets. and Then I'll be set. You know, I'll be set. Because I got two of the, you know, the uh, butane, you know, like the Coleman stove, and then I got the gas one stoves, which I have set up now. So I've got two of those. I've got the my jet boil you know, that you just hook onto the canister. And I got a few of those. I got a couple of another Coleman one that you just screw into the propane. But um, that's the nice thing about the warmer weather is that. In really cold weather, like 28 degrees and below, you can't really use the butane. It's not a it's not a, a good cold we weather cold weather fuel. But in these kind of temperatures, you know, work they work great, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper. I mean, for I don't know what I paid for the butane, but it was like half the price of propane. You know, they were pretty cheap, like two bucks or whatever it was. Two or three bucks you know cheapest propane was at walmart and it was like 544 for a one pound canister you know so that runs into some money the butane's a lot cheaper to run and then the isobutane which i really like you know that i hook my little stoves to it you know and well this like here this is and this one i don't know how much is left in it yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, but this is my jet boil. And, uh, you know, it was like 56 bucks for this thing. That was back before I knew that they were a lot cheaper version. But they don't have the oomph that this one does. I mean, I hook it up to this isobutane. And, man, I'll tell you what. You know, I put my tea kettle on top there to heat up water for coffee and boy it didn't take any time at all i mean it's i don't know it's like fifty-eight thousand btu or something like that it's 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 very powerful and quick so i'll probably get me some more isobutane get me some more propane because i'm down to i think i've got seven canisters of butane left and that should last me, you know, you know, the payday and beyond, you know, but it's just, it's just the cheapest fuel to use. And so, and then I've got another one of these kind of stoves, which this one was like seven bucks. <laughs> yeah. What the heck is it wrapped around? How does this stuff do this? Anyway, it's got this one. It's a 
same type of thing but this is also a butane a butane stove it's got the thing that goes from it and then you hook this hook this to the hook this to the butane canister I used this one a couple days ago for something because I had something else cooking on the gas one and then I was cooking something else on this and it, and it works pretty good and one thing I like about it is the jet boil you know you can set you know, like my tea kettle and other things on it but it's so small that's the only thing about that whereas this one here you can fold fold these things out like this and you can you can put some really big really big pots on it you know if you fold it out all the way you know you, you can put you can put pretty much anything on this and you can adjust it too the thing is if it's a smaller one of course you can just bring them in a little bit you know you can adjust it to the size of of the, of the cooking utility that you're using so anyway I didn't mean for this video to be anywhere near this long and I'm just rambling on so I'm gonna shut up get off here get this uploaded I hope you enjoy it you know I just I don't know what's interesting to people and what isn't you know I try to talk about things that as far as what I'm doing here and you know, gives you guys like a little bit better insight to everything. You know, that's what I try to do. And also do entertaining stuff. You know, like when we go for hikes and stuff like that. I'm sure that I know, I know from the comments, not just from my videos, but texts I've gotten from people and stuff that, you know, very enamored with the topography here and the desert and everything. And a lot of people never been to the desert. I grew up in desert, <laughs> so it wasn't this pretty though. I guarantee you, it wasn't anywhere near pale. It was not anywhere near this pretty, but it's pretty much desert, sagebrush and sand, you know. But a lot of people never been to the desert, and so I can see where it's interesting to them. Just like I've never been like to, the, to you know the Caribbean or whatever. And if people have videos, you know, about places I haven't been, you know. That's interesting to me. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded, and hopefully you find it interesting. You know, I apologize for rambling on so much, but I just, I get talk. I don't have anybody to talk to. You guys are the only people I have to talk to. <laughs> talk to a few people on the phone, but, I mean, like, you know, like right now, it's like, who else do I talk to? I guess I can go bug them over there. No, I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate that. Oh, who knows? I don't know. But I'm not going to walk clear over there. It's a long way. Oh, man. I sure hope these clouds clear up because I want to get my solar panels out there. And I want my water to heat up. It was like yesterday it was the wind. Today it's the clouds. Because I don't see any blue sky at all. None. Ain't no, ain't no blue sky anywhere it's all clouds i wish you know if it's going to cloud up i wish it was it would at least rain although i prefer it to rain at night because when it rains at night and i hear that rain hitting the tent it's like puts me right to sleep man puts me right so relaxing puts me to sleep even a little bit of wind as long as it's not really really shaking the tent you know just a little bit of wind at night where it's just a little bit of sound not <laughs> just total silence because <coughs> of the <coughs> man, <coughs> man. This wind is blowing in some dust choking me up if the wind isn't blowing it is total silence out here although um you hear the crickets not every night though i didn't hear them last night didn't hear it last night but it was a little windy not bad it was off and on it went and blow a little bit but, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to shut up because I keep rambling on all day. We'll talk to you later.